Hi, this is Maria. Welcome to my craft room. Today we're going to be making another card using Be My Valentine. And I don't have any pre-measurements here, so we're just going to work on the fly today. Um, uh, the idea is to use the bumblebee and this little swirl like he's flying across. And we're going to use some flowers. And I think the punch has a little bit of a flower topper that I think will work with this. So we're going to give it a try. All right, so first let's go ahead. I didn't have anything pre-planned for this. So we're just going to work on the fly here. I'm going to get a card base here. So I'm going to score it four and a quarter. So I'm scoring here in half and then we will cut in half this way at five and a half. Four and a quarter by five and a half is our standard card base. And we're going to go ahead and burnish this. If you didn't know, this is how you make a standard card base, four and a quarter by five and a half. And let's get our next piece cut. So I'm going to make a layer at four by five and a quarter. So we're just going to go all the way down four by five and a quarter. You probably hear Penny and Zeus running around. My son has brought his dog to live with us for a little while. Okay, so I'm already seeing we would have to, because the hearts are going in this direction. Isn't that pretty? Um, pretty little design there. It's like little leaves. Um, I actually wanted to go this way, so I'm gonna recut that paper. So I need this way to be four. by five and a quarter this way. That's okay, I'll use that other sheet for something else. No worries. All right, so the layer will go this way. Let's go ahead and put that down. I was making another card, another video, and I thought, oh, you know what? I'll bet that would look good. And so, that's why there's not a, a big plan here, because we're really working off. I saw something else, and I decided to make it work. All right, so now we're going to need a white field so that I can do my stamping on that. So we're going to need, let's do, let's see. Here you're witnessing my, my thinking process. I think four four by two and three quarters that will be perfect four by two and three quarters so let's get this cut out we'll go four this way by two and three quarters <laughs> all right and that is beautiful. That way we can see the beautiful background paper and we've got a nice border. I like that. Okay, so now we can do our stamping and here is where the idea came. All right, so we're gonna need our punch, a brand new punch that goes with this set. And I want to do some flowers across the bottom. So we've got, you've got little hearts in the, in the stems there isn't that so cute and we've got a little heart here that I think will make our flower petals all right so let's do that I'm gonna stamp first let's stamp our little petals across our uh, stems across the bottom I love this because you can see where um, when you're putting things away you can see exactly where to stick these down all right so we're gonna need this one and this one. We do have flower toppers here. There's a flower, there's a flower, there's a heart. Um, and we'll see, we'll see what works. Um, let's put them on the paper and then we'll decide how to work these. I'm gonna put them both down roughly where I want them. And then I will repeat across and let's use I think old olive 
is a good color. Let's do old olive. Good color for leaves. Leaves and stems and such. And we're just going to go across. Beautiful. Okay. I think my old olive is wearing out a little bit. You can barely see that. I think we're a little too dark, too too bright, too much light in here. There we go. Let me see a little better. There we go. Beautiful little stems. Okay, and now we can add some flower tops. We can use this one or this one. I I want to use these. We'll do some of each. Let's do some of some of this. We've got a clear one there as well. There's that one. That's going to be a nice big flower. There's another big flower. Let's do these one by one so I can decide where they go. So that is probably um, let's see. the paper packs tell you what color there are. So flirty flamingo, real red and gold. And so let's grab some flirty flamingo. And we'll make that flower. Flirty flamingo. Oh, I've got it backwards. There we go. Flirty flamingo. Okay, and then let's see what else do we, what other color do we want in here? Yellow goes with it. Let's do crushed curry. That's a nice bold color for this other flower. Isn't that interesting? That uh, second generation stamp, this is the same color. I stamped it once and stamped again and you get such a light such a lighter color you know what let's do that again I don't like that you're working with me on the fly so we're gonna just have to bear with me I'm gonna try granny apple green instead I don't like I don't like that green it's a little too dark and it, it's a little too faint for me so maybe this stamp is a little juicier for me and also let's grab silicone mat because I want to work off the bottom just a little bit so that my bumblebee bumblebee is going to be across the top here so I think that will work a little better let's clean this off first I'm making a mess here okay so let's come back out this is my stamp and scrub I love this thing and it makes cleaning stamps so easy I'm just going to spray with some stamp cleaner on one side or you could um, spray with water and I'm just going to scrub on one side and dry on the other scrub and dry that's it beautiful let's go ahead and clean the other ones while I'm at it I love it, it makes cleanup so easy okay so now let's do this again this is granny apple green this time That stamp said it's a little juicier. The um, the, the uh, ink is juicier. Oh yeah, much better. And we're just a little bit lower on the card. Okay, beautiful. And then we're gonna use the same colors over here. But we're gonna do second generation. So stamp and then stamp off. third generation beautiful very nice and then we will do the other one in the flirty flamingo that was crushed curry 
Glory Flamingo because that is this color here. And we're going to stamp off so the color is not so bright. Very nice. Beautiful. Actually, it's really, really light on that corner one, the last one here. Let's just do it again. There we go. All right, so now we can get rid of that. And our bumblebee is gonna come across on gray granite. I need a longer. We're gonna use this one. So this one here, the little trail. We're gonna go right across there. I'm gonna use gray granite for that because I don't I think the black would be a little too dark. Let's go this way. Beautiful. I like it. Can you see that? Let's go a little closer. Very pretty. All right, and then our bumblebee will be over here. And we'll put a little banner down here at the bottom. So let's put Be Mine on the outside and Your Sweetest Honey on the inside. All right, so I have little strips of scrap. So we're gonna use that for Be Mine. I love to keep my scraps. You never know when you're gonna need them. Be mine is going to be let's use the same gray granite so we'll continue this color beautiful and we'll just snip that off this is just a little scrap be mine do we want anything else on here let's, let's use the little heart here this heart here. Let's use some real red. We'll see how it looks. I know this is a huge block, but that's okay. I've used up all my little ones. That is so pretty. Okay. I'll just snip this. Okay. So be mine will go right here. We'll put that up on dimensionals. Let's get our bumblebee done. This is too close. All right, so bumblebee, I need some scrap white. And there's our bumblebee. I'm gonna stamp first and then we'll punch them out. Daffodil Delight. Beautiful. And some memento for the stripe. Let's see. Stripe off the bumblebee. And we'll stamp that right on top. Beautiful. And do we want a face on the bumblebee? Let's see, I think we want a winky face. Beautiful. Okay. And now we can punch that out. And then we'll do some hearts to add onto our flowers. So we're just gonna line this up. And there's our bumblebee. Okay, and let's see, I just need to keep this out because I'm gonna keep using this. Because 
I need that for the for the wings here in a minute. All right, so the bumblebee is going to go. Be mine will be here. Bumblebee will be here, and the wings will be behind him there. All right, we'll make this gray granite for wings again. Beautiful. Punch those wings out. If it's in the way, just snip it off. Beautiful. That is so cute. We can do that right there. And then my little heart. Where is that heart? Okay, so let's... I think hearts will look good as flowers. So let's, let's just see what comes up out of that. We're going to punch these out. Can we see? Yeah, okay. There's one. Let's see how many I can get out of this. Two, because I'm going all kinds of sideways here. There's two. So, let's see. That's going to be there. That's going to be there. And I wonder if we can add these in. Oh yeah, we're going to add these in as additional flowers like that. And we'll put those up on dimensionals. That is beautiful. Alright, so let's, I'm going to close these just so they don't dry up. It's really, really dry. The air is really dry in here today. Alright, so let's go ahead and put this down. We're going to put this on dimensionals. I was just working away on this other card and I'm, I thought, you know what, I can use that punch for so many other things. So Be Mine will be here. Beautiful. And then these will go up on dimensionals also. The little bitty dimensionals, minis. So these can be flowers as well as hearts. It's, that's so pretty. I love that. This is just going to go down with liquid glue. There's my first round. I think that ink pad maybe was just a little needs re-inking. Okay, we'll put that right here in the center. Very beautiful. We'll put Mr. B right here up on dimensionals. And his little wings behind him here. We'll put him up on dimensionals as well. See what we do on the inside. Beautiful. Be mine with the little hearts are popped up to make flowers. That is so cute. And then this is just a flat heart right on the be mine. Beautiful. And on the inside, let's see, be mine. You are sweet as honey. Let's do that on the inside. And we'll put a honeycomb on the inside as well. All right, so let's see. Flirty flamingo on the inside. Beautiful. 
beautiful. And then our honeycomb is going to be in the crushed curry. Beautiful. And maybe one more heart on the inside. It's a huge block. Let's not use that because I can see that I've got a smudge over here in the corner and we don't want to smudge this. It's always good to use the right size block. Let's see, did we clean this one? Let's clean it off. Okay, and we use this little block for a little heart and then we can call this card good. Beautiful. And there is our finished card. I hope you like my videos. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and click that notification bell so that you are notified when I post a new video. Thanks for watching.